So, what do you think? Oh, I don't know what to say. I... I love it. <laughs> uh, no, no, no. It's, it's for, um, it's Izzy. It's her 18th, and I, I wanted to get her something spe special. Oh. I didn't I mention that. Abigail, I'm so sorry. I really thought... You're joking. <laughs> <laughs> Very funny. <clears throat> totally used to say that. This genius <laughs> bloody comedian. Thank you, sir. Yeah, give it back. <laughs> your Majesty, your sister, Princess Isabel, would like to see you. Uh, no, I, I have to finish this. It's very important. Yeah, state um... businesses. Look, I'll, I'll catch up with her later, OK? Of course, sir. Anyway, uh, we, uh, we should... Yep. <clears throat> Maybe if you rang in advance, I might be able to pencil you in. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'll make sure he sees you as soon as he's free, <gasps> Mum. God, everything about this place is just so totally fake. Mum, just a minute. Mom. You shut up. I tried my brother, but he's far too important these days, so you'll have to do. Your Royal Highness? You cut my friends off the list. Uh, yes, ma'am, only a few, I'm sorry. How many would you like me to reinstate? Stop that. My birthday list has helped me see how things really are. Oh, right. Well, how can I help? In just under 36 hours, I'm supposed to become a fully paid-up member of this little club. But you know what? I don't like what it stands for, I don't like what it does, I don't like what it's trying to make me become. So, you tell my brother that I'm handing back the keys. My HRH, I don't want it anymore. And here, you can have it in writing. Right, very well, now. Get on with it as soon as I can. Absolutely not. No. No one's being sacked. But you just said the princess doesn't want me to work for her anymore. No one's being sacked. It's just time for a change. A change of, um, of direction. And as sometimes happens, not everyone can fit into that new plan. But... We're so close. She cried and I held her hand. We had a connection. Right. Can I see her? No. Why not? Let's talk about what opportunities the weekend now offer you. She won't see me. I get it. Natalie. I get it. She's done it before, and I'm sure she'll do it again. It's part of the package. Do we tell the king? No, no, he doesn't need to know about this. I'll put some of the names back on the list, the ones that won't throw up in the Ming vases. <laughs> that should do the trick. I'll, um... There you go, Mark. I'll let you get on. Okay. Lou, uh, those are the letters, the memos, and an itinerary for your trip to Bath. Thank uh, And, uh, Major Brooks called her about ten times. Tongues will work. Yes, thank you, Lucy. Nothing, nothing, nothing! About what? Me renouncing my HRH. I told Ian to make an announcement. Oh, Iz, chill. I don't want to chill, George. I just want to be taken seriously. Join the queue. Oh, it's different with you. Is it? I spent most of my life being patronised and treated like a prize plum. Because you are, George. No offence, I... Yeah. Because, of course, I haven't thought any of this through. I mean, giving up your HRH. Are you insane? Yeah, what are you going to live off? What are you going to do? Get a job. Be a real person. Yeah. You might want to try that. Actually, <laughs> I can just see you working behind the till at... Uh, whatever they're called, some supermarket. 
At least I wouldn't be pissing my life away at other people's expense. Izzy, you have got to stop reading The Guardian. So come on, tell us. I can't, but we just, we've, we've had a tiff, that's all. Uh, you don't have tiffs with Princess Eleanor, not without losing a leg or something. I thought you said you two were inseparable. You said you were, oh, like, God. soulmates. Boring, like looking in a mirror. Yeah, we were. But we are. Right, so what's happened? You mix up an Armani with a Dior. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I know too much. Yeah, I know her secrets and they can't stand that. You get too close and you become a danger. <laughs> <laughs> And the Oscar goes to... I'd like to thank the princess. Me mother, our kid, <laughs> Ruby. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know anything. <laughs> I'm off. No, listen, 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 listen. Buzz. so I've got you a seat opposite me <laughs> and there's security looking out for people filming, so you have to be careful with it, yeah? So none of <laughs> that and just, like... Just, just, just be smart about it, Bells. You know, you know. Yeah, of course. So I'll do my speech. Mm. I'm just don't get too wank, Bells. Like, I just, I just need you straight for this. It's important. Hi. Hey. Uh, you've been ringing me, and I've been. Rushed off my feet. You okay? Yeah. Yeah. Actually, there was something I wanted to talk to you about, but um, now's not the time. Oh. You look as though. Uh... Oh, I'm just waiting for the kings. Yeah. Right. Sorry. of my becoming an adult. I cannot, in all conscience, I will not continue to be part of and to support an institution I no longer believe in. An, an institution that seems to have no place in, in a world striving to offer equality for all, whilst it cocoons itself in a, a bubble of privilege, prejudice and primogeniture. The monarchy is it's out of date. It's out of touch. Which is why I and any right-thinking person in this country today should seriously ask, is it not time that the United Kingdom became a republic? Well, she did like the DJ, apparently. Do we know who filmed this? And where is Princess Isabel? We've been trying to get in touch with her since she left the palace last night, so her mobile switched off. We'll keep trying. As soon as she answers, security will be able to get a rough fix on her. Anything else? I've heard calls from all the nationals, ITN, Sky News, BBC, Al Jazeera. It's feeding time at the zoo. We don't comment. Absolutely not, sir. Well, I shouldn't have... Did anyone see this coming? Did I... Did we do anything to... Abby, what do you think? I think you need to talk to her, sir. She listens to you. Mm. OK, well, thank you. Hey, well, that's Princess Isabel for you, keeping us all real. An, an institution that seems to have no place in, in a world striving to offer equality for all while cocoons itself that is you saw that when i zoomed in on striving for equality for all so i totally think that pinged it right up do you know what i have to stop they're gonna come for me they're gonna find me they'll get you too they've got spies and shit what are they gonna do and will the palace comment on it i doubt it ma'am it's definitely her, and it's recorded. Art is denied, really. Well, we should say something to make us look supportive. I thought of some quotes for tonight's standard. 
Yes, she may have a point about the sexism of the Constitution, but this is not the way to air, etc., etc. Yes, well done, but that's obvious stuff. There's a much better angle, if only we can properly place it. For example, who wrote the speech? Well, I'm presuming the princess wrote it, ma'am. Oh, God, no. Major Brooks, we know the princess wrote it. Had pain in the arse teenager and every chippy wine. I'm suggesting that we get the papers to ask if somebody else might have written it. Let's say the king might have written it. Right. Words he couldn't say himself, so he got her to... i.e. His way of saying it like you to take over. Got there in the end. <laughs> Excuse me. Abigail again, I take it. Why does she keep ringing you? I have no idea. Hmm. It's irritating. I'm sorry, ma'am. You see how annoying it is when you ring and ring and ring and the other person just never gets back to you? How do you know? I took a copy from your computer. You broke into my apartment, Simon. Whoa, 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 you're not gonna get all indignant with me, are you? Because I sort of thought that was my territory, you know, the how could you stuff. I know how you feel. How you feel for him and where that puts me. We can't talk here. What are you going to do? I don't know. What would you do? Simon, it's just something I toyed with while he was the Prince of Wales. I'm not writing it now. I'm not interested in anything like that, and I don't know what you think it says about you. I mean, that's, that's just crazy. Simon, don't tell him. Please. Sorry, sorry. I don't want to get in the way, um, but the king wants you. Have you, uh, seen that? Why? What's she done now? Oh, nothing. And I mean nothing. All the stuff's still in the locker, but the princess has got a new dresser and no one's seen her for ages, and I rang and her phone is dead. Well, maybe she was right, maybe she knew stuff. This is one paper, but it's the first. It's nonsense, of course, but it's a superb story for them, and tomorrow's papers will follow. Well, sir, we starve them of oxygen. If I issue any kind of rebuttal, I'm fueling it. You ignore them, you're fueling it. Turn on ITN now. Oh, great. So far, the palace has failed to make a statement regarding the princess's comments at her birthday party. At one stage, the princess stumbled as she attempted to evade a photographer. As she got to her feet, she held the palm of her hand up to a news camera to reveal the word imposter, clearly written across it. But why is she doing this to us? I mean, she looks like she's completely lost it. So, with the utmost respect, I think that may be the case. What do you mean? So it looks to me, and I suspect it looks to a lot of people, as if she's having some sort of breakdown. We know she's had some drug problems in the past, and her drinking seems a lot heavier. Maybe... Maybe a statement to that effect, focusing more on that, might take the heat off what she said. You want me to say that she's mad? No. She's mad for saying this is all ludicrous, really. She's a scared and confused little girl who needs our support, and... You know, she's my sister, and where in the bloody hell is Abigail? Right here, sir. Sorry. They want me to release a statatement saying that Izzy's having a breakdown and that she's lost the plot. Right. Right now, the Princess... the plot? Right now, Princess Isabel is a liability to herself and to you, sir. She needs to realise that her actions have consequences. It's a smack on the wrist. We give her an excuse for her actions. We give you a chance to kill the story. So I'm not trying to hurt the Princess. I'm trying to protect all of you. You need to speak to her before you release any kind of statement or... We don't know what she would do. Sir, 
Princess Isabel's reactions we can deal with, but we need to act decisively if we have to scotch this story. If this turns into a national debate, it could jeopardize everything. Yeah. Peter, she left the bar in a cab and got out at Battersea, which correlates with a mobile call you made. Unfortunately, we can only narrow it down to about one of 20 streets. So she's in someone's house, then someone must know. Yes, sir, and we'll find her, but it takes time. Yeah. Sir, I've taken the liberty of preparing this. Now, if we want to make the first edition, we Hold need on. to move... Izzy, it's me. Listen, uh... Uh, just call me as soon as you pick this up. Lots of love. should just make the first editions. Good night, sir. Yes. 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 Mm. Wake up. What? Ridiculous. I know. Pals, I'm not mad. I know you're not mad. Shit. I told you they'd come for me. Have you got your phone? <sighs> they think I've lost it. They're the ones who are going to bloody lose it. The news of the world. At the moment. Although she'll sell to the highest bidder. She says she'd need the money if she's to come off the civil list. There was always the risk she'd turn to the press. And what's the story? Why she isn't mad, but why all her family are. Um, it's an expose. Every tiny detail. Color of your underwear, you name it. We should have... Oh, I should have spoken to her before I release a statement. You were right. And now she's got us all running around in circles. I don't know why... Why do I listen to you two? I stand by my concerns about the princess, sir. Yeah, yeah, I bet you do. What with your medical training and degree in psychiatry, I can't believe anyone would ever bloody doubt you! <sighs> Damn it! <sighs> we found her. It was dark, so she couldn't be sure, but there was a van parked outside the cold store. Bastards. And she only got a fleeting glimpse as they stuck her in, but she swears it was Nat in between two guys. In black suits. Oh, no. She knew too much, didn't she? She knew too much. It's bizarre, because I've always thought of Izzy as a sort of art history, sociology sort of a girl. Who would have thought she actually had a brain? Indeed. But it's getting tiresome now. All this stuff about republics is becoming a liability to me as well. She needs to be quiet and now. Any ideas? Well, nobody can find her. I mean, I, we can't risk playing with the press again. And whilst I'm keeping tabs on the PPO... Yes, I know all that. 
It's all a bit above your station, isn't it? Hmm? Well, I'll go and sort it out all by myself then. Thanks. Brilliant. I won't tell anybody, OK? OK? I just read the book and I, I was... I was shocked. You know, a bit disappointed. I won't tell anybody. God, you know, these people, you know, you, you work here too long and you start thinking and be behaving and... Mm. This stuff Princess Isabel's saying, it's quite close to the bone, huh? Yeah. You know, I, I really can't work out if Princess Eleanor is just in one of her moods or I'm just being paranoid or... How about we just quit? We quit? Yeah. Just leave. Set up together. Public relations or something. I mean, there's shed loads of money in corporate PR. Thomas Brooks. <laughs> what do you think? Sounds sort of old money, don't you think? You know, we could... We could write the rest of the book together. I've got stuff on the princess that'll make your ears bleed. What do you say? Yeah? Yeah, sure. Why not? Yeah, right. I just... Look, you surprised me. No, don't. No, it, it, it could work. I haven't thought about it, but <sighs> maybe... And Abby, please, don't pity me. God, woman! I wasn't. You know, because if, if I'm wasting my time here and you're just going to humour me, then, I'm you know... Not, I'm not. Then I will go to the king and I will tell him what you've done, yes? No. Simon, no. Is she here? <sighs> Majesty. Yes, she's... Business with Izzy. It's so upsetting. What can I do for you? Actually, it was Izzy I wanted to talk to you about. Really? I'm struggling to see how you could use her misfortune to your advantage. Oh, God. You've got to stop her. Rich is just. He's soft on Izzy. And I'm not? Well, you know what this family needs. She's getting dangerous, Mummy. She needs you to control her. I mean, you did what you did because you had to. That's the problem, Rich. I mean, what it does to us, what it takes from us. It's ironic, actually, because everyone thinks we have everything, but. Actually, we have nothing. <laughs> we have nothing. We have nothing of any value. <laughs> because it steals our choices and our purpose and our reality. I mean, <laughs> haven't you ever wanted to just walk into a room and know that people like you because you're nice, Rich, and you are, you're really nice? <laughs> or because you're a laugh and you're really funny and you are funny? <laughs> Is he? They just like you because of your family. I mean, haven't you ever just been desperate, like really desperate to be denied stuff and just to be told to shut up and just make mistakes and learn hard lessons and be friends with who you want to be friends with and love, just love who you really, really want to love. That's all I ever wanted. <laughs> Jenny from F Division said that Nat went into Princess Eleanor's apartment one night and saw her. 
want. In the act. I didn't think the princess ever did it. But then I spoke to Billy from the Westgate and he said... He said it was much worse than that. He... Worse? Matt was there too. No. You don't know the half of it. What? It's true. Oh, it's more than true. If I tell you, I could be putting you in danger too. Come and see me later. Tomorrow's papers will all lead with the same story about the princess. In addition, we have several news stories for television and radio which examine her comments. Woman's Hour on Radio 4 is running a poll yeah, on the okay. future of the all right, thank you. There's lots of bad press. We get it. Is he shattered? She just needs time with us. I think her condition is worse than this. Yes, Dr Ian, thank you. I have talked to a doctor, sir. I asked him to. Dr. Hooper, sir. Oh, yeah, of course. Dr. Hooper, the family doctor. Doctor, I'll give you some pills and keep my mouth shut. Richard. Ian, go away. I don't need any more of you right now. Yes, Her Majesty. That man, sometimes, I know he means well, but sometimes he... He's worried about Isabel. Right, look, I'm not having a Hooper examining Izzy. It'll just freak her out even yeah, more. He feels exactly the same way. In fact, he thinks the most important thing is to start treatment as soon as possible. Treatment for what? He hasn't even seen her. He knows her. He's known her all her life. Yeah, but he hasn't exactly examined her, has he? Yes, but he's seen the footage. He's well aware of her problems in the past. And he's very clear on her problem now. Well, which is? Dr Hooper feels that Isabel is displaying all the symptoms of AAS. Oh, an acronym. <laughs> now that's bad. Acute anxiety syndrome. It's completely treatable. Intensive one-on-one -on -one therapy. The security of a fixed environment. Inpatient care, that's what she needs. Yeah, like she's going to agree to that in a million years. She needs to be asked. And if she won't... You'd make her go? For her own good. You want to section your own daughter? We want to help her, Rich. He doesn't think it would take too long. Maybe a few weeks. Oh, well, that's handy, just till the coronation. Oh, no, that, that's not fair. Oh. That's not right. George, can you believe this? <laughs> this is for Izzy. She needs proper medical attention. Well, from a Hooper? Well, I'm not... I won't have it. This is ridiculous. I need to talk to Abby. You need to talk to your family. No, let's get Abby in here. Let's see what she has to say about Stop this. Stop acting like you're the only one that cares about her. She needs us, doesn't she? Not to be locked up in some bloody nut house. Oh, and you can look after her, can you? With everything else that's going on? And you know exactly what's going to make her better? She needs to be in a place of safety. That is your responsibility as her brother. That is your duty as our king. You can't just barge in to see the king. Now, stop it! Somebody has to talk some sense into him. We have a duty to the king. We have a duty to this family. Don't, Ian. I'm sure you've got a wonderfully developed sense of morality that lets you see just what is right and what is wrong, but I'm fighting, fighting to protect my king, and God help me, I'm struggling too. But he has to make the right decision for all of us. Simon? Hi. Hello. It's all getting a bit... Isn't it? Yes, well, uh, we'll get there in the end. Would you excuse me? Sure. I can't talk here. I need to see you outside the palace. We can switch off our phones, just talk, work it out. 
just let me have one more chance when this isn't all flying around our heads, you know, and we can just, we can just talk. You always choose him over me. No, no, you don't know that. You, okay, tonight, bottle of red. I'll come over to yours. We'll work it out. Okay. Tonight, yeah? Maybe she just needs a family around her. And maybe I'm just trying to make the picture fit because it's convenient right now to have her out of the way because she's being a pain in the ass. Well, no, she's been more than a pain in the ass. You know, I don't know. Would everyone be really telling me to do this if the coronation wasn't just around the corner? Or am I just scared of admitting that she's... She's really sick and, and she needs help. You know, the truth is, I just don't know. Putting her in hospital, sectioning her, I mean, it's too awful. Dr. Hooper, good to see you. I have no idea what the right thing to do is. Your Majesty, Princess Isabel. Izzy. Hello, ma'am. No, uh, Isabel, please. <clears throat> Would you like a drink? Yeah, my um, vodka. Good idea, Thanks. Abby. Uh, I think I should go, sir. Uh, no, no, stay, please. No, I, really, you should um, be alone. Rich? Izzy, I want to help you. Dr. Hooper wants to help you. And to do that, to do that most effectively, Honey, they need to get you to a hospital. Hospital? <laughs> Izzy, listen. God, Your no. Royal Highness. No, no, no. We, no, we really do Shut want up. to help no. you. Come with us now. Listen to me. No, Rich. This isn't easy, but it's going to be fine, Rich. OK? I promise you. Just no. Me. Trust no, I me. don't listen. trust you. No. OK, everyone just. Everyone just stay here. The quicker we do this, the better. me to help you and that's what I'm doing. I swear these people can make you feel better. Izzy, I love you so much. Please, you have to help me. You have to trust me. Natalie saw something she was never, never, never meant to see. She saw the king. <gasps> All right. I don't understand. Not King Richard. King James. Right. Yeah, I don't understand either. She saw King James. 
two weeks ago. He's... he's alive. In a coma. Medically induced by MI5. Just shortly after he told the PM he wanted to abdicate. He's through there on wires and trips. <sighs> Never. Oh, it's, it's like something out of a horror movie. Go and look for yourselves. Princess Eleanor, she's so 80, so I uh, got myself a job on the outside. I, I can't tell you who with, but uh, she's got her own perfume. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? Yeah, well, we didn't really. King James! Crazy. Yeah. See you around. I just wanted to check that you were. You know, okay. That must have been so hard. Yeah. Hardest thing I've ever had to do. God. What a life we have, eh? Yeah. You know, I hate it. I promise you, the things it makes you do, the person it makes you into, sometimes I think I hate it so much, I think... What? No, no. Come on, Rach. Talk to me. You know you can tell me anything. Well, sometimes... Uh, sometimes I, don't th I think I don't want to do this anymore. I think you'd be better. I think I'm not up to it. And then I think, don't be an idiot. You know, you've got a great team around you, some special people. Some very special people. Yeah, and then I think, just grow up rich. Majesty? Hi. I, uh, I need to see you. Do you have any plans to see me? No, sir. I just wanted to say... Well, thank you for being there. Um... <clears throat> Look, um... During... during all this, I've only... You know, when I'm panicking, I, I'm always... I always find I'm asking for you. I mean, you know, Ian's great and he's brilliant. He's very clever and he would kill for this family. Freak. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I... I don't want you around just to advise me. I want you beside me. Always. I, I think I'm... 
I think I'm struggling to see you as staff. Right. Oh, come on, Richard. Oh, for God's sake. I think... I think I love you. I love you. Your Majesty. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. What for crying out loud? <clears throat> yeah, David. Uh, what is it? It's Princess Eleanor, sir. She'd like to see Miss Thomas urgently. Quite a good read. Loved me. Very Cruella. <laughs> and aren't you devoted to my brother? Sweet. He rather likes you too, doesn't he? I always thought you were rather plain, but there you go. And there's Rich being all modern and trendy. Staff, really. What is it that you want, ma'am? Hmm. Down to business. Good. I like that. Well, obviously, if the king gets one whiff of this, then you and he are finished. But I intend to make sure he doesn't. Your secret's safe with me. <laughs> I want you to do me one teensy little favour. OK. He tells you things, and I want to know what they are. You're going to tell me what he's up to, what he's thinking, what he's thinking of thinking. I want you to work for me whilst working for him. You want me to betray him? I can't. You've already done so, Abigail. I only want to keep an eye on him. Make sure he's not going to muck it up more than he's already doing. <laughs> you do want to go on seeing His Majesty, don't you? <laughs> go and have a little think about it. Well, what's to think about, really, but... Goodbye. was very upset about the death of Lord Maybridge. It was most unlike her. It made me wonder a little bit. Can you dig out some of the old home movies from when I was little? Yes, ma'am. My heroic soldier triumphs again. Well done, you. <laughs> 